Welcome back at the Devaney Sports Center. The D2 contest coming your way in just a minute. A familiar face joins us now, Jerry Lott. Bob Devaney Sports Center building superintendent retired just before the girls uh, competition last week. Jerry, you've been around a long time. You've seen uh, this building uh, start probably from the architectural world. How has your team responded? Well, we pulled out the win. I, we struck, I, I think that's a pretty good response. So today we're, we're worried about Chad uh, Smith's injury. I don't know how he's going to play. And we'll see as we come out, I guess, how we're going to respond. Okay, very good, Coach. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks for your time here before the game. All right, thank you. All right, we appreciate that. Natalie Kivenhoven in the stands here at the Devaney Sports Center. Natalie. Yes, I've got Tammy here from the Elgin Band. Tammy, how does it feel to be back here again at State? Oh, it's great. I can't wait. Our crowd's with us, and we're all excited and ready, and hopefully the guys can pull it off again this year. Great. They're going to play the fight song for us. Go ahead. And, Greg, we're going back to you. So we're going to clip that fight song off just a touch. It's Odell at 17-4 and four on the season. They are facing the defending champs from Elgin, the Eagles, at 20-6. and six. Our continuing coverage of the boys. Morning's contact, Dick Marcy, Larry Seeger, the bench official, Garland Miles. Okay, Greg, these two teams match up pretty good as well. Well, when you look at Elgin, Steve, you're going to see a lot of pressure defense. The keys for Elgin, they're going to key on Schmidt and Kittleson, and they're going to try to keep them from pouring in the points. As far as Odell, it's Josh Novotny and rebounding. If they can control the boards, they'll win. You're going to see the pressure defense from Elgin. You're going to see an up-tempo offense from Odell. I think you're going to see a very entertaining contest. These teams are very talented. A majority of their losses have come in play outside of Class D2. Mm -hmm. Probably the cream of the crop right here, and they're going head-to-head, -head, bud. You know, when you get uh, into some of these areas, I mean, these coaches are just looking for games to get. And sometimes you do end up playing some teams that are not in your class. There's the shot up. No good. Odell will go on their first offensive sequence. Odell dressed in black, Elgin in white. From the corner, that's Jurgens, no good. Costal the board and the shot. Rims around, no good. Back again to Jurgens, up and good. Several tries there, Greg. Two to nothing, shot up by Schmidt, no good. Inside to Oshner, it's good. Oshner is a heck of a ball player. He had 19 in the quarterfinal victory over Chester HB. Schmidt, he can gun too, a 22 point effort in the semifinal win over Lodgepole. Reverse that Lodgepole in the quarters, Chester HB in the semis. Cross court. Three no good. Odell with the board. That's Costal. He'll go baseline and reject it. To the Elgin basketball. We're just getting started in our D2 contest. It's two to two, Elgin and Odell. There's the three and good. Chad Schmidt bangs home the three. Five to two now, Elgin over Odell. Chad Schmidt, a senior, he averages over 20 points per game, one of two individuals in double figures for the Eagles. You're going to see him firing up quite a few shots today. Oh, inside, nice pass to Novotny, and he cans it. That's exactly what Odell wants to do, Steve. They want to get the ball down low to Novotny. Novotny has a superior edge in height, and I think in jumping ability is a good one. That's off into the corner shot. Partially blocked, but it'll fall. B.J. Schmidt. Little token backcourt pressure here from Elgin. Oh, 
Now they're going to go back the other way. That'll be Elgin ball. They had the right idea there, Steve. Yeah. They moved it, moved it through the lane, out to the wing, and down low to Novotny. The first look is always to the lane, and that's going to benefit Odell in the long run. That's where their strength lies. Odell very patient on the offense. This is Elgin now on the attack. Shot up and no good. Here come the Tigers. Bounce pass picked up there by Novotny, and he makes something happen out of it. Was that for Novotny, Steve, or was he going to the wing and Novotny just <laughs> intercepted it? I don't know. It looked good, and it counted. The 7-6 to six now, Elgin. Just getting started in our D2 game. Ooh. Nice pass, and the shot up. String music for Dave Oshner. He's got four points now, early going. Oh, nice pass. It was a good thought, but it was snuffed out there. Ryan Kittleson saw that coming, and it's a turnover. Here comes Elgin. Oh, that was a nice look and a nice power move there from Oshner. He's got six points now. Dave Oshner providing a spark. Yeah, Oshner at six foot two inches. He doesn't look very big at first glance, but he plays yeah. big. Only, only a junior, averaging about 19 a game. There's the shot up by Hupka, no good. And Elgin with the board. 11 to six, suddenly Elgin out on top. Chris Sullivan, inside to Schmidt, the shot, good. That's five for Schmidt. Elgin really having things go their way in this first quarter. Oh, there's the turnover. It's going to be Elgin basketball. An unfirst turnover at that. We have a timeout. 3.32 left in our first. It's Elgin 13, Odell 6. Back to you, Steve. Okay. You know, Steve, little Charles, Charles Barkley-ass look there. Mm -hmm. Chris Sullivan says that's not going to happen. Nice play from behind. Yes, it was. A lot of times you'll get a, you'll see a foul called there, but that looked clean. Odell basketball. Inbounds on the wing to Hubka. That's some nice D there. Good hustle from B.J. Schmidt. Look at these first quarter turnover. Steve Odell, four so far. Elgin, perfect. Not a one. I think Elgin has come away with points every time they've been uh, on the offensive attack. Awfully efficient. This is Odell. Shot up and no good there by Jurgens. And Elgin will try to go to the well one more time. Shot up by Schmidt. No. Rebound to Novotny. And Odell's going to slow this thing down. 2.39 left in our first. It's 13 to 6. Elgin out on top. Driving and the shot up by Hupkin. No good. And it'll be Odell, or rather Elgin. It'll be Elgin basketball. Elgin off to a good start here. Schmidt with a nice pass to Oshner. The shot up, no good. There's a battle down low between Novotny and Oshner. Novotny winning that battle. Oh, nice pass. And nice shot, Ryan Postel for his first two of the ball game. That was a good, was a good look there, Greg. Yeah, it was. At first glance, Elgin's record isn't sparkling. Six mm -hmm. defeats on the air, but all to quality competition. Clearwater, North Loop Scotia, oh. a very talented team. Here comes a turnover. This is Jurgens. It's good. Two yeah. quick buckets by Kelly Jurgens. Makes it a 13 to 10 ball game, Elgin. The other four, Palmer, Falls City, Sacred Heart, Lockwood, Missouri, and Ewing. Schmidt answers on the other end to make it 15 10, Elgin. Minute 39 left in our first quarter. And there's a turnover. Back the other way, this is Schmidt on the push.
Inside to Oshner, no. That is really shaping up to be a battle. You look at the, the defense that Elgin has put in here, it isn't giving Odell a great deal of problem when they bring him into the front court, but the turnovers that they're committing are unforced there. It's just balls that are slipping through the hands. Shot up by Neefeld, good. 15 to 12, Elgin. It looks like one of the Elgin players is limping a little bit. That's B.J. Schmidt, the 6'2 junior. You know, when he came down in front of the booth here, Steve, yep. he pulled up a little bit. It looked like something was bothering his leg. I don't know if it's uh, pulled his calf, pulled his thigh. Yeah, he, he's going to take his right shoe off. Sam Van Orney is his replacement, number four, who checks in for Elgin. And Orney has the ball. 46 seconds left in our first. There's a reach. Tim Hupka, his first personal. Oh, that was a nice exchange there. Oshner can't make it happen. And a nice save, too. Postel with the save. Hupka on the push. Nice pass to Neat Feldman's good. So the swing and momentum has gone back toward the Tigers. Odell now within one. 16 seconds left. See if Elgin can get a couple more, maybe three more this time down. This is Sullivan with eight. Down to Oshner, the shot up. A little short. The heave to end the quarter. And there's the buzzer. We've played one. It's Elgin 15, Odell 14. We'll be right back. The three-point play. First quarter going to script for Odell anyway. Points in the paint. Odell with five buckets for ten points in the paint. Elgin just getting in there twice for four Ooh. points. Well, I didn't realize that. Schmidt's tied up. Gets it off to Oshner. Nice pass inside to Oshner. Oh, he can't get it to fall. And there he is. Mr. 6'7 himself, Josh Novotny. Ooh, yep, that went out of bounds. It'll be Elgin basketball. So Odell with uh, a 17-15 lead. Sullivan goes coast to coast, and there's a foul. Looks like Novotny. Take another look at that one. Looked like a heck of a block. Mm. Boy, maybe the ref was at a bad angle. He definitely called the body there, but Josh got all ball on the top half. Mm -hmm. That's Novotny's first personal. Sullivan at the line for two. The first one on the way is good. And the second one's good. Sullivan gets two. He averages five per game. We're tied up at 17. Oh, there's some nice defense from behind. Chris Sullivan from behind. Still be Odell basketball underneath their own hoop. This is Novotny out at the top of the key. Over to Jurgens for three, no. Looks like a hold on Schmidt to his first. Got an update on B.J. Schmidt for you, Steve. The 6'2 junior re-spraining his right ankle. They're wrapping it as we speak. Mm, that Schmidt was, averages almost nine points per game. That was a concern. Novotny with the shot. No. The rebound to Oshner, taken away by Novotny. Odell back on the attack. 
Shot up, no good. And Odell once again with another opportunity. Inside to Jurgens, can't get it to go. Elgin peels the board down. This is Van Orney. Oh, ball almost stolen there by Jurgens. Some nice hustle, though. Yes, it was. I'll give you one final B.J. Schmidt update here. B.J. is testing the ankle now. He's expected to return. We'll have to play the waiting game and see if that happens, but he's been taped. He's lacing up, and we'll see if he comes back later in the quarter. Timeout on the floor. We're tied up. We'll be right back. From the stage, we're back with the D2 final between Elgin and Odell. Neither team able to really uh, spring out to an advantage. They're just kind of matching buckets here. That didn't work. Boy, did Novotny sniff that one yes. out. They saw the LU coming and just yep. gobbled up the ball. Yep. Dave Oshner probably wishes he could have that one back. That's his first personal. When Novotny stands 6'7", the wingspan's got to be quite a, quite a bit in length. Tough to go down low on a cross-court pass like that. Mm -hmm. Hostel, looking for help to Hubka inside. The neat fell the shot up and the whistle. Odell just pounding away down low in the rebound category. First show you the replay. Nothing wrong, go right to the basket. Looks surrounded by four white jerseys. He'll go to the stripe. Rebounds Odell with 13 to date. Elgin with four. So they have a decisive advantage off the glass. Mm, Got to make those free throws happen. Chad Schmidt with the personal foul, his second. Matt Needfield misses the first free throw. Now a couple of substitutions in for Elgin. Sam Van Orney will come back in. Chad Schmidt will take a seat. Second free throw on the way from Needfield will dribble in. 18-17 now. Odell out on top, Elgin on the attack. Sullivan out on top, calling for play number one. And on the wing to Oshner. Kittleson on the inside. Lots of traffic shot up, no good. Novotny's there with the board again. Nice power move there from Jurgens. He can't get it to drop. Scramble for the ball. On the line, and Elgin will take control. Another substitution coming in. Jeff Humphreys for Odell. B.J. Schmidt up and about in the game. Testing out that ankle. Looks pretty good. Number 42 in white. Kittleson on the wing. Back out to Van Orney. Inside to Oshner, the turnaround, no good. And there he is again. Boy, Josh Novotny, a tough boy to shoot over. Uh-oh. Odell fortunate there. Yeah, Novotny is. He's he's working underneath. Still 1870. This is Novotny, yes. When you watch him on that defensive end, Steve, he's a leaper. He gets his hands up there and he's tough to shoot over. When you see him on the offensive end, that quick move. He doesn't make contact though. He kind of slides off his defender and scored. Novotny has five this quarter. Nine on the game. And a whistle. Is that gonna be Novotny? Give the slap to Hubka. Yep, and that's his second. And another substitution coming in for Odell. Matt Dewis. 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 Matt Dewis, 6'2", sophomore. Ryan Kittleson at the line, the first one too strong. 
Kittleson try to nail the second. Metal's out no good. And there he is again, Josh Novotny. Jurgen's gonna go coast to coast. No. Called for the foul as well. That's his first. Gotta like the effort though. Took it right to the rim. Got the foul on the rebound there. Those shots will eventually drop. Put their nose down and go right to the basket. That'll pay off. Mm -hmm. 20 to 17 now, Odell out on top. 420 before we break for half. This is Oshner trying the lob pass inside to Schmidt. A little bit of trouble. Still Elgin basketball. Inbounds to Sullivan. Sullivan on the line. So Odell will get the basketball off of the turnover. A little pressure here from Elgin. Get it to Novotny. Back out to Hubka in the corner. Jurgens, no. Novotny bats it out. It'll be Odell basketball. Keep that play alive with his height. Just reached it there, up, reached in there and slapped it back. This is Deweese. Down to Jurgens. Whoa, long tray on the way and good. Tim Hupka. Boy, if Odell could start knocking down short shots from the yeah. perimeter, that'll really open it up underneath for Novotny. Yeah. There's a shot and rejected. Oshner with the pickup. Shot up, no good. Novotny with the board once again. Odell running. Hupka, oh, nice pass, but it. Saved there by Jurgens. Novotny inside, no. Oshner with the board. That's two little bunnies they missed there, Steve. They filled the lane well. Yeah, they did. Oh. Matt Deweese with the foul, his first. A couple of more substitutions getting ready to come in for Odell. Needfeld will come back in, and Ryan Costell will check back in for the Tigers. We have a timeout with 3.01 left in our second quarter. It's Odell 23 and Elgin 17. We'll be right back. Julie, Jane, Jesse, and Joyce, their sisters and the nephew of Tim Hupka, number 21. How do you all feel that he's doing so far? He just made a three-pointer. Just made a three-pointer. He's doing really good. The team's doing really good. Good. How do you feel, Jesse? Are you having fun? Good. Go Tim. Go Tim. All right. Back to you, Steve. Okay, back to live action. Dave Oshner with the bucket. He wins that battle with Novotny, gets it up and in. Got to go up strong, though. Yeah, that's going to be fun to watch those two guys butt heads uh, here in this second half. Yeah, he double dribbled. That was a good call by the official down there on the baseline. Two thirty-eight to go in this first half of play. Odell by four, but Elgin with the ball. And on the attack, this is Schmidt. We're going to the man-to-man -man defense. Oshner for three. No. New Dell basketball. Chad Schmidt knocked that ball out of bounds. See Novotny cheat a little on defense there, staying in the paint. Kind of challenged him to put that thing up and mm -hmm. pay off. And now some full court pressure from Elgin. No problem for the Tigers. <laughs> oh, people behind us wanting the palm. No call inside to Novotny. It kicks it back out. Costal, no good. And a whistle. Looks like Oshner with the personal. That'll be his second. Now that thing... Uh, Bounced away, but the foul was called. Ryan Costell, the 6'1 senior, the first one on the way. Bounces in for him. 
third point of the ball game. Talking strategy over there across the way off the Tiger bench. Second free throw on the way is good. Ryan Costell downs a couple free throws. 25-19 now Odell with 157 left in our first half of play of this D2 championship game. Nice pass, but a whistle. It's going to be Juergens, his second. Minute 50 before we break for half, 25-19. Odell out on top. Inbounds to Oshner. Yes. Boy, he had to put the ball on the floor there. Which meant he had to go over Novotny, but still yeah. was able to drop it down. He's one of those uh, That's rainbows. Tough, tough to do. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, Odell back uh, on the offense. 25-21 now. Tigers out on top. There's Hubka with the move. Bounce pass over to Neatfeld. Back to Hubka. The drive and the shot. A little short. Rebound comes down to Elgin. Minute 16, minute 15 now. Sullivan on the drive. Down in the corner to Oshner. Cross court to Schmidt. No good for the three. And the rebound comes down to Costa for Odell. Shot up. No good for Jurgens. And a whistle. Jurgens called for the foul. That's his third. Eric McMurray's going to go to his bench. Go with Matt Deweese to get uh, Kelly Jurgens out of there. So now we're in the one and one for Elgin. Matt Deweese is 6'2 sophomore. First free throw bounces in and out for Schmidt. And with 51 seconds left, Odell has a chance to increase this lead. Inside to Novotny. And a whistle. He traveled. One of the very few mistakes that he has made in this first half. Josh Novotny, he's done a little bit of everything for the Tigers. Now they're back to a 2-3 zone, it looks like. Elgin on the offense. Kittleson over on the wing. Shot up, no good by Schmidt. No Dells the other way. Novotny running the floor, yes. Coast to coast, Josh Novotny for two. 27-21 now Odell with 20 seconds left. And Elgin will wait for the last shot. B.J. Schmidt over to Chad Schmidt. Chad Schmidt from long range, no. And that's our first half of play. 27 to 21, Odell out on top of Elgin. In our first half of play, Josh Novotny, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 points unofficially, our leading scorer here in the first half. But he leads Odell. Dave Oshner leads Elgin with 10 first half points. Okay, Greg uh, Matson has more. Okay, thank you very much, Steve. Eric McMurray, the winner. You have just seen the coaches class D2 All State team. One of the coaches from class D2 now joins us live, Jake Shadley of Shickley. Jake, got a guy in the team, uh, Dan Phillippe. Tell us a little bit about Dan. Well, Dan's a real good player. He's the type of guy that can go inside or outside. He shoots the three real well for us, yet he'll go inside and post up and get the points in there when we need him to. Uh, he's just a junior this year, coming back next year, and hopefully he'll uh, improve a little bit and we'll have even a better player next year out of him. That's good news for you. You betcha. you got to be happy with that. We don't have a, a senior on our team this year. We return everybody, so we're looking forward to next year, but a lot of teams like Chester that are in our district return a lot of people too, so uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens couple of very talented players in this game right here, Josh Novotny and, and Dave Oshner. Yes, there are, they are. Uh, Josh is a good player. He'll he'll sit down there on the low block and make himself at home and get him the ball, and he'll usually get it in there when he gets it down there. And 
And uh, Dave, he, he started out real well, and then he struggled a little bit, and he kind of picked it up, I think, towards the end of the half. I think that's the key for them is that he gets back in the game and starts scoring some points. They're going to be better off. Looks like Dave at 6'2", not a real big player, but he plays pretty big, doesn't he? Oh, he jumps out of the gym. I, I'd say his vertical jump has got to be somewhere in the 30s. You know, he gets up well. Strong, physical kid. You know, physical player. Nate Stinicky at Brady, you've seen him play? Yeah, I saw him play a couple times. Saw him last night, and he's about six foot they have him at, but he goes inside real tough. He drives to the basket strong, and he's another jumper. He gets up in the air, and, and they're not real big. Brady's six foot, six one. You know, he has to go inside and take that role and do a good job of that one. I've seen him play. And the other the other guard is Matt Cumro. He's averaging over 20 points a game for Table Rock. Yeah, Matt was on Table Rock, and they had a tough district and didn't get down there. I didn't get a chance to see him play this year, but uh, – from his numbers, he's a good player, but I, I don't know much about him. I didn't get to see him play. So, Quickly, your impressions of this first half. We have a couple of All-Staters going head-to-head -head here. Yeah, it's been a good half. Uh, they came back pretty well. I think Elgin, Kiefer Elgin, just staying that pre you know, press, put a little pressure on him. That frustrated him. Didn't cause a lot of turnovers, but frustrated him a little bit. And then get Dave back in the game a little bit. That's going to be the key for them, I think. Jake, I appreciate you stopping well, by, and best you. of luck next year up in Chickley. We're going to come back in the second half with... We'll come back with statistics of this first half before we do that. Continuing coverage of the Boys State High School basketball. Remember this? Pro percentage, 80% for Odell and 40% for Elgin. The rebounding uh, category is where we're seeing a big difference. Odell holding uh, quite an advantage there, 19-7. to 7. And then the turnovers, 8-3. to 3, uh, Odell uh, having eight turnovers. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with more after this. So we'll see what adjustments were made during the halftime speeches. A six-point Odell advantage. Phil Cluthy keeping uh, Elgin in the locker room to the last minute, so he probably had a lot to say. There's a shot up, no good. Rebound comes down to Costa. Deep down the floor to Novotny, yes. And he breaks out with the wide grid. Yes, he did. You look at what Odell has been able to do. They've owned the inside, the inside paint. Oh, there's a nice oh. pass. Deflected by Novotny. Still Elgin ball. Sorry about that, Greg. Shot up. Oh, it rolls around and out. Uh, Elgin really needs to do things just like that. Bring the ball to the hoop. Take their chances. If they can get a Novotny in foul trouble, they need to start producing some points inside and start shutting off the Odell inside game, yeah, at least no. slowing it down anyway. Novotny has uh, taken up camp down there. He just committed his second personal. Ryan Kittleson's first free throw, a little shy. There's Coach Cluthy. His Eagles 20 and 6 entering this contest. Second free throw is good. 29 22 now, and the full court pressure from Elgin. Hubka the shot, no. Tip, no good. Hubka back up, no. Hubka again. Yes. Every time inching a bit closer, the third time going down. Three shots. He finally got it to go, 31-22 now. There's some more good defense from Novotny. He's got that wingspan you were talking about. Yep, he's tough to pass, pass around. Sullivan, bad inbounds pass taken by Hubka. Hupka down in the corner to Jurgen. Yes. Thirty-four, twenty-two. Elgin into the front court. Novotny with the steal. You know, Steve, I don't think the answer is throwing it down low to Novotny or to the man with Novotny guarding him. You gotta take it right in there. Yeah. There's Novotny with the shot. Uh oh. Look out, fellas. Chad Schmidt will be whistled down with a foul, which will be his third. Let's look at that again. There's just tons of contact here. Man. So Odell looks to open it up a little bit more here. 34 22, just getting started in our third. We have a timeout. We'll be right back with more third quarter action.
Sesame Street presents... Lucy, she also has a grandson who's playing on the team. He hasn't been on yet. But tell us how you feel so far. I feel I feel good. They're, I have good hopes for them. Good. Yep. Hope that they're going to make it? Oh, I sure do. <laughs> well, it's nice that you're here today. Greg, we're coming to you. Thank you, Natalie. Novotny missed his first free throw attempt, and the second falls off no good. He has to get the perfect grip on the ball, if you notice there, Steve. Yeah. Elgin misses Schmidt with the shot. No. Rebound coming down to Jurgens. Inside to Novotny, yes. That was nice. I think you can sense the Odell players think that they can really take control of the contest right now. Of course, they're up by 14, which is a huge factor. Yeah. Boy, poor Oshner in there. A shot up no good, but he's just in the land of the Giants. Look at Novotny run the floor. This is Jurgens. He'll back it out. Top of the key. Hubka. No. Oshner with the board and Elgin on the attack. 36-15. 36-22, Odell, Sullivan with the drive, and a whistle. Some tantalizing matchups on the deck for tonight. Following this game, Steve, boy, a Class A encounter between Creighton Prep and Lincoln Northeast Get should ready. be a barn burner. Get ready. Creighton Prep, very, very impressive. They have a couple of really special players on that team. And if you spin ahead all the way until 9 o'clock, I think the matchup everybody was hoping for yep. in Class B, at least from a fan's perspective, where Wahoo, the perennial powerhouse, will play undefeated Norris. Nick Anderson's final game is the Wahoo head man. It's going to be an emotional night tonight. Hope you can stay with us throughout the day. Shot up. That looked like it might fall for a second for Matt Deweese, but it didn't. And here comes Elgin trying to chip into this Odell lead. Sullivan in the corner gives the shoulder. That's an offensive foul. Yeah, the ref was right there to catch that. Watch it again. Watch him give him a little shove. Oopsie. So here comes Odell, up by 12, inside in the foul. We're watching Elgin becoming the same, uh, getting to the same position as Osman did in the previous game, where they're down by 12, it's midway through the third quarter. Will they be able to shave the deficit down to single digits and make this thing a doable comeback in the oh, fourth? That was a nice rejection there. Odell retains possession. Cross court to Costal. Oh, and the steal this time by Schmidt. Schmidt's limping a little bit. Elgin with the ball. E.J. Schmidt, oh, bad pass. Stolen away by Neatfeld. Once again, that was Novotny with the... This is inside to Novotny. The left hand, no good. Rebound. Good defense that time by Oshner. At least he did not give Josh the, the turnaround to get a good look at the bucket. He made him stay in the air to put the ball up. And if this is Oshner inside the head fake, it's good. Nice play. So it's a 10-point game. Well, I agree. It, it is kind of like our previous contest. Elgin just... Hangs around. There's the shot up, no good. And Elgin with the rebound. Ryan Kittleson yanking the board. And there's a reach in. That'll be Costal with the foul. I think the ref was watching for that as well. Costal, of course, was the individual who got that shoulder a couple possessions back. Guarding Schmidt very closely. This time it goes against him. Another timeout on the floor with 3.36 left. It's Odell 36 and Elgin 26.
Boy, Josh Novotny really playing a major role. He had 11 at the half. He's now up to 15. He's got four in this third quarter. Uh-oh. Gonna get some food brought to us. Elgin trying to defend their Class D2 title. They beat Hyannis 63-62 last season, their only state boys crown. This year, at one point in the season, the Eagles were three and five. That's right, three and five. They lost four in a row in that stretch. But since that time, they've won 17 of their last 18. So if you're a numbers cruncher, you know the Eagles have really turned it around and played some great ball lately. Three and five at one point, Steve. Mm. After that fifth loss, you have to no. wonder, is this even a team that can get out of the district? Can it, can it make the district for crying out loud? Yeah, they did turn it around. Slow start. And you know, so often we see that state champions or anybody that's successful in anything, people just want to beat you. That's the, the nature of the beast. We resume play now. Elgin with the ball. Inside some trouble. Getting it back out to Ryan Kittleson. He'll put it up. No good. Rebound coming down to Matt Deweese and another whistle. This looks like Sullivan, his second. Foul category starting to be highlighted here. You know, the way it's stacking up right now, Steve, Elgin is just going to simply have to knock down some of those outside jumpers because they're collapsing in on the defensive side. Until they start respecting the outside shot, it's just not going to happen for the Eagles. They've got to start making some days. Mm -hmm. Well, Odell has the ball. Oh, my goodness. That's Chris Sullivan, and it's a situation where if you let the guy go, he's going to probably slam one home on you. Boy, he sent the message here, though. Oh. No way are you going up with that one. Novotny still in one piece at the free throw line. Now watch Novotny's approach here to the, to the shot. Okay, he's got the grip now, Steve. Yes, a little more successful this time up to the line. A unique approach at the charity stripe. Mm -hmm. Well, Usu Usually you see the multiple bounces or something like that. This is a new move. It's all such a mental thing there at the free throw line. That one's gonna bounce home for him. Well, it works for him. 38-26, Odell still out on top. 2.53 left in our third frame. D2 action here. Shot up by Schmidt, no good, and Novotny with the board. Jump pass over to Hupka, and Hupka will bring the ball across the timeline, and he'll set the offense. You know, I couldn't tell if that was a pass or a shot, oh. Steve. <laughs> There's a whistle. Who's this one on? Is that Kittleson? Yep. Ryan Kittleson as we watch the instant replay. Kittleson thought he had all ball. Not in the referee's eyes, and Matt Neekfeld will go to the line. 6'6", six, six senior. We've got some tall fellas here on this front line for Odell. That one's good. Well, with the Class A title game on the horizon, Devaney really starting to fill up yes, to the brim. Yes, it is. Second one on the way, too strong. Rebound to Novotny. He'll kick it back out. And back into Novotny here. And a whistle. No travel. You know, just getting that opportunity, though, for the offensive putback, mm -hmm. those long arms just come into play. He really covers a lot of space. Yes, he does. He's a thin kid, but thought that, that wingspan really makes him a wide body. Elgin on the attack once again. Sullivan at the top of the key. Good. Chris Sullivan. Good to see him get that three to fall after the hard foul on Novotny earlier. Get back into the swing of things. This is Odell with the ball. Hupka has it stolen back the other way. Sullivan, nice move. Nice bounce pass, shot up and good. Okay, here we go. Now they're on a run. They're with an eight, Steve, with under two minutes to go in the third quarter. 
B.J. Schmidt with the bucket on the other end. 39-31, Odell holding on. Shot up by Hupka. Good. Boy, the answer man. He's dangerous today. Yeah, he just, he didn't think twice about that. Elgin, let's see if they can come up with an answer. Minute 24 in our third. Little one-on-one -on -one here from Kittleson, the shot, yes. Gets the roll. Now Elgin has been able to do something Osmond could not do in the previous game, that's shave it down to single digits. You've always got a chance. It's good. It's great for your confidence, too, heading into yes, the fourth quarter. Now we have another whistle. Something away from the ball. Foul was called on Kittleson. Bill Cluthy likes what he's seen in the recent moments. Just over a minute to play. Odell by eight, but they're at the line. He gets that one. Matt Neatfield, the 6'6 senior, averages just under eight points per game. Ooh. Heavy wrist action and got that one to go. Neatfeld takes a seat. Checking into the Odell lineup is John DeWeese, number 33. This is Elgin with the basketball inside to Oshner. Dave Oshner, the left hand shot, falls. And that's a tough shot. He stuck with it. He's got to put a little extra on that yep. to get it over Novotny. He's able to square up, though. That really helped out. Uh -huh. 43 seconds now. It's 43 35. Odell still out on top. Tigers have the ball. Looks like they want to wait for one. This is Novotny. Postal to Novotny, no. Nice play by Costal. He saw the switch, and Novotny sprung free. Watch his man come over. Nice was, feed. Yeah, it was. That was nicely set up. Sam Van Orney, number four there, checks back into the Elgin lineup. And Novotny's back at the line. Not that one to fall for him. This would be uh, Novotny's 20th point if he can get this one to fall. A little too strong, and the rebound comes down to Oshner. 21 seconds left. Elgin now with the chance to make a little noise before we head into our fourth frame, and that's what they want to do. Phil Cluthy pulling the ball out, waiting for one. Now they go inside, but there's Novotny to knock it away. 7.2 seconds left. It'll be Elgin basketball underneath their own hoop. B.J. Schmidt will inbounds. This is Kittleson with the drive and the shot. It falls. And that'll end our third period. 44-37, Odell out on top. Fourth quarter action coming up next. Odell's star player, Josh Novotny. This is Sarah and John Novotny. Mr. Novotny, tell me about the road to the championship. Well, um, the boys have played really well this year. Probably about the only team that you can actually say has beaten them so far is Adams. Uh, we've played almost all rated, all contender teams this year, so it's been a fun year. Uh, the boys are a team. I mean, they play 100% team. Uh, it's one, been one of the most fun years that anybody from Odell's had in a long time. Thank you very much. Steve, we're coming to you. Okay, thank you, Natalie. 44-37, Odell out on top. They are looking to take the D2 title away from Elgin. Not a good sign here for Elgin. On paper, it might look like it is. Uh, the points in the paint, 8-6 in Elgin's favor. 
in that third quarter of play, but Odell still able to outscore Elgin 17-16. So their outside prowess working wonders. That's going to do it for Kelly Jurgens. And Matt Deweese will come in. Kelly Jurgens ends the game with seven points. An early casualty. And Steve, that's a big loss too. The sophomore averaging over 14 points wow. per game for Odell. Held to half that margin yeah. today by Elgin. Yeah. So he was contained and now he's gone. Elgin with the ball. It's Kittleson. Oh, shot put up. No good there by Van Orney. And there's Novotny. Hostel with the driving left-hand shot. No. Novotny puts a paw on it. Gets it back out to Deweese, then to Hubka, over to Costal, back to Hubka, and they'll set the offense up. Inside to Neatfeld. Neatfeld the shot, no, and a foul. It'll be Aaron Andrew whistled down for the foul. Another look at that one. Got him up in the air. You know, the one thing that Neat felt did not do, he did have his man up in the air and he pulled back. He got the foul on the second attempt when he was up in the air, and that one looked like there was less contact or less potential contact than the first one, and he just put his head down and drove right through the man. Mm -hmm. First one from Neat felt no good. Well, Eric McMurray will have to rebuild in the middle. He's got those two seniors, Needfeld and Novotny, graduating after this game. Second shot on the way and good from Matt Needfeld. 45-37, Odell still out on top. Elgin with the ball looking to stay in this one. Ryan Kittleson with the drive, no. And Odell comes out of there with it, Tim Hubka. Quick hands. Quick hands by Ryan Costal to spring it free. Costal with the ball in the lane to Deweese. Deweese with the shot, no. And Sam Van Orney, one of the smallest players on the floor, has a part in that. He's got the ball now. He's over on the wing to Kittleson. DJ Schmidt with the three, no. Too short. B.J. has just not had his stroke working tonight. Costal gets the board there. Hupka drives and shoots too short. Gets his own rebound and they'll set it back up. This is Novotny with the left hand, no. And that's Oshner with the foul. That's his third personal. One thing that Josh does very well when he gets the ball on the low post, he's got one thing in mind, going to the rim. You don't see that soft fadeaway that a lot of kids do. Right to the basket. I love this move. <laughs> First one falls away, no good. What do you think here, Steve? Take, take a look at this. Is there part-time masseuse work in this guy's future? And he gets the second one to fall. Timeout on the floor, 46-37. Odell out on top, 540 left in this D2 contest. We'll be back with it right after this. The Odell Tigers dressed in black. Elgin Eagles in white. And they are uh, on the attack now with 5.38 left in the fourth quarter. They need to generate some offense. Sullivan inside to Oshner and a whistle. And it looks like it's Novotny. That would be his third. Novotny doesn't like that Carl Oshner with some pretty sharp positioning there. And he had Josh on his rear end. He couldn't do anything about it but reach. 
Elgin ball underneath their own bucket. This is Kittleson with the power Ooh. move, and there's going to be Novotny again with his fourth personal. And that is a huge foul. Yep. Two fouls there, Steve, in a span of about six seconds. Well, Eric McMurray is going to go to his bench and grab number 51, Jeff Humphreys. And there goes Novotny. So we'll see how this plays out. A nine-point lead as Novotny hits the pine. Jeff Humphreys with 32 points on the year. They'll need him to come in and start boarding. Meanwhile, at the line, Ryan Kittleson gets the first free throw to drop. And coming back into the Elgin lineup is Chad Schmidt limping. He had some ice on his hip over there on the bench earlier. Second free throw on the way, no good. Here's Neatfeld with the rebound. So let's see how the Odell offense operates now with the big man out of the middle. Looks like they're going to pull it back a little bit. This is Hupka directing traffic. I think the Elgin kids sense that a run is in order here. They have the opportunity. Yes, if, if it was to happen, it would be right now. Oh, nice pass, a good look. Unfortunately, didn't happen. So good of a look that it fooled even his own man. Yeah, Matt Neatfeld. 4.53 now, 46.38 Odell. The big question is, is can they hold on to that lead with Josh Novotny on the bench? I don't think you're going to see Josh on the bench too long. We're about 4.40 to go in this contest. Oh, nice save. No sense in keeping him there. I think you'll see him within about a minute, minute and a half. Yep, Chris Sullivan's shot, no good. And here's Oshner getting aggressive. No good, the rebound up, and it'll fall this time for Kittleson. Now that's what a big difference Novotny makes in the middle. Three times they had an opportunity to put a put back there. Yep. Oshner doesn't have those big, big arms flailing in his face anymore. That's right. Good call there, Greg. This is Neatfeld. Hubka with the drive and the right hand shot, no good. And Oshner getting aggressive once again with the board. So the lid has covered the Odell basket and their lead here, is down to six. Here comes Novotny up off the bench. He's going back in very soon. On the floor, Kittleson. The foul called on Humphreys, his first. Eric McMurray sent Novotny in, and then all of a sudden he changed his mind, pulled the back of his jersey and pulled him back. He's going to burn, I think, one more trip down the court. Yep. No, not. He's going to send him in at, during these free throws. He was debating. He looked at the clock, looked at Josh. 3.50 to go. Well, there's no tomorrow. Nope. Ryan Kittleson at the line. The first one, no good. And Odell with the board, Matt Niedfeld. The Tigers up by six. This is as close as it's been in a long time. 3.40 left in this contest. Inside, that's Niedfeld, and it goes. And a foul. Well, we talk about Novotny, but Niedfeld really comes through. The 6'6 six, six yeah. senior gets position, watch him. He's a bigger off his too. man and goes right up, strong to the hoop, off the glass and in. You're right, Steve. He is a big kid. Chad Schmidt, another casualty, two fouls. And Sam Van Orney will come back in. Now, Steve, we're talking about a five-point swing here, potentially, with, with uh, Elgin at the line there with the one-and-one. One. If they sink two, they're within four. They miss the front end. Down comes Odell. They get the bucket, the foul. Here's Neatfelt for the three-point conversion. Instead of a four-point game, now we're talking about a nine-point Odell lead. It stays at eight. Neatfeld missed the free throw. The follow is good. Back to 10. Four-point swing down uh, play for Neatfeld there. 10-point lead for Odell. Elgin looking for an answer. Will this do it? Yes. B.J. Schmidt, the three-point goal. Makes it 50-43, Odell. Up it with the left hand dribble. No, gets it knocked away. Elgin with the push. BJ Schmidt for three. No. 
Sullivan with the board. He'll try it from three. No. You know, Steve, they don't need the three. There's plenty of time left. They just need a bucket. Well, what do we got here? That was Hubka that came down with the rebound for Odell. You know, I really have to disagree with that decision making. They come down on a two on two, pull it back, drive it down the Botany's throat, get him out of there. I mean, it was pretty obvious when he was gone that Odell's a completely different team, but they came down, pulled up, and did a couple of pulled up a couple of threes. Mm -hmm. They're only down seven points. And they might have been a little anxious there to chip into that lead some more with the 2.46 left, but still plenty of time. 6-1 junior Tim Hubka at the line for the Tigers. He gets that one to go. Tim Hubka sinks his ninth point of this contest. Second one's on the way and no good. Rebound comes down to Dave Oshner. Inside Kittleson in traffic. No. A whistle. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? It is. Novotny on the push and he is gone. Now it becomes very interesting. Boy, that foul came out of nowhere. Novotny finishes the ball game with 20 points. And now who will Eric McMurray go with? Boy, the, the referee called a push on that. Jeff Humphreys will check back into the lineup, number 51 for Odell. Okay, so it's an eight-point lead with 2.33 to go. Novotny is fini. A good day at the office, though, 20 points. And you know Dave Oshner is probably licking his chops right now. That free throw on the way, no good. Now we're going to go back the other way. A foul on Ryan Kittleson, his now, second. Elgin has had their opportunities. That's the second front end of a one-and-one one that they've missed, and it's come back the other way. The last time it happened, they missed that front end of the one-and-one. One. Neatfeld gets the bucket, misses the free throw, but follows up with the, with the bucket of his own on the putback, and that was a four-point trip down the floor. Uh -huh. So again, here we have the one-and-one. One. They miss, still an eight-point lead, and now Odell back at the line. Matt DeWeese, yes. And they're hitting. This could tell the difference right here. And you, you can't argue the fact that the door has been open to crack for Elgin. They just have not been able to wind it up and open and uh, walk on through. Mm -hmm. That one's too strong, and Oshner with the board. 229 now, 52-43. Odell still out on top. Schmidt with the power move. Back out. Inside to Oshner. He'll force it. No good. Rebound comes down to Odell's Ryan Costa. In the corner to Deweese. He traveled. Matt Deweese. Giving the ball back over to Elgin with 2.08 left. The Homesteader Conference looking to crown their second straight champion. Sterling a winner this morning. It's Odell incredible. trying to make it two for two. Speaks very highly of that, uh, that area. Shot was up and no good by Sullivan, and then we had a whistle. Okay, we're in the same position we were in 34 seconds ago. We got the one and one. The lead now, though, is nine. Ryan Kittleson with eight points on the day. Some more substitutions here. Chess match by the coaches as they yep. try to get the right bodies into the right spots. Aaron Thorborg checking in for Elgin. The tie has been removed by Phil Cluthy. He is now going casual. Kittleson's free throw is good. 159 left in this D2 championship game, right down to the wire. 52-44 Odell. That one's short. And Odell comes down with the rebound. That's Costco and then another whistle.
that Kittleson? Uh-oh. Bill Cluthy throws the coat off now. He's not happy. He was not happy with that foul whatsoever. There goes the coat. And that also earned him a technical foul. Whoopsie. I think that's the first technical we've seen in our two weeks, yep. Greg. It is the first one, but okay. that was a pivotal play of the game. He thought his man had control, and his man was called for the infraction. Okay. So we'll uh, camp out here at the free throw line for a while. All eyes on Tim Hubka. The first one. Spring music. I think Odell can finally smell it. It's nine points. Yes. Eric McMurray wants a timeout. I don't know if they'll get it. Yes, he will. Odell calls a timeout. With 1.54 left in this D2 game, it's 54-44 Odell. We'll be right back. Back live at the Devaney Center. Smart time out there by Eric McMurray. His team up 10 points. He decided he wanted to talk it over. Tell his folks, what we're, his team, what was coming up. A lot of falling. They're up by 10. Uh -oh. They spring a guy free. He felled. Oh, can't get it to go. Rebound from Deweese. And he walked. All right, with a minute 46 left, it's still a 10-point ball game. Another substitution coming in for Elgin. Chris Sullivan checks back in. Now Elgin must hurry. This is going to be a fire drill, Steve. They're not going to touch. Now the clock will start. This is Van Orney. Over to Sullivan. To Schmidt for three, no. And the rebound comes down to Hubka. Odell doing some running. Costco gets it to go. Now it's a 12-point deficit for Elgin. This is Van Orney. He'll put his head down and go in. Shot no good, and the whistle on Niedfeld, it looks like. There's the blocking foul. So they'll get an opportunity to get some points without time elapsing. And then another substitution coming in. Jeff Humphreys will check back in. B.J. Schmidt noticeably limping. Yeah, he's... On his way back down the floor there. Yeah, he had ice on that leg or his hip earlier in the day. And I'm sure that's affected his shooting as well. I mean, you're so used to going yeah. off one of your feet and sure. having everything feel comfortably. And he's at midcourt now limping along. He yeah. struggled from the floor today, but, huh. you know, give him, give him credit. He, he it, wanted to play in the most important game, and he's done so. Dave Oshner comes out for Elgin. Van Orney misses the Look at second this. free throw. Look out. Van Orney... Uh, with the foul, almost had to do that. Let's just hope nobody got hurt there. Matt Deweese. I think he caught a finger in the eye. Is that it? Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, he just, oops, yeah. One thirteen now. Left in this contest, 56-44, Odell. Looking to widen that a little bit more. This is Matt DeWeese. Free throw, no good. Well, for a moment there, Steve, a few minutes back, it looked like we had a barn burner yeah. finish on the horizon. Uh, Elgin had the opportunity. The free throws would not go down for them today. Second one off the rim, and there's Humphreys with the board. Now a scramble. And Odell comes out of there with it. There's an immediate foul. There's really not much you can do here. B.J. Schmidt with his first personal of the day. You know, we've talked a lot about the inside game for Odell. Let's give Tim Hubka some credit. He has knocked down a couple of outside jump shots that have opened up things for Novotny yeah. and for Neatfeld. He He's had, played very well. Yeah, he had a three in the second quarter and a three in the third. He's got three free throws here in the fourth. Let's see if he can put a couple more down. He of the 13.6 average 
He doesn't have to go down in the land of the trees. He makes his point living out on the perimeter, and he's done so again today. No, this would put him at his average right here if he makes it. Smooth stroke. 58-44, Elgin desperately needing to get a shot up, and Sullivan will do it and get the three. And a quick timeout called by Phil Cluthy. So it's 58-47 now with 56 seconds left. I don't know. I guess I've seen weirder things happen. This, this one might not be over, but you'd think if Odell just doesn't totally implode that, that they would hold on and win this. Yeah, that's right, Steve. I mean, if Odell is able to hit their free throws, they're in like Flynn, basically. They control their own destiny from here on out. I want to remind our viewers that the Husker-Missouri game will be seen in its entirety following the Class A championship contest at approximately 3 to 3.15 in that neighborhood. So if you'd like to watch all the high school basketball that that uh, you can possibly you can stomach, possibly stomach. <laughs> we want to say that as tactfully as possible, but there's some great games on the horizon. Oh. We know the Class A game is in conflict with the Husker game. You're able to watch a Class A game, turn down the volume on your radios, don't call anybody, and then the Husker game will come your way following the Class A title game between Omaha yeah. Creighton Prep and Lincoln Northeast. And then, of course, we're right back here after the Husker contest the good for night. more high school basketball. Let's just hope Piatkowski eats whatever he ate yesterday. Yes. I, whatever did, uh, you know, made him come to life, the 42 points. Incredible performance yesterday. We're back to live action here, this D2 game, Odell and Elgin. I don't think he'll change an article of clothing. Oh. He'll get up at the same time, tie his shoes the same way. Athletes are super superstitious bugs. Yeah, they are. You know, I didn't see a lot of that game, but uh, it was everywhere. All the national news was on it, you know. Showing Pietkowski. Everybody kept calling him Pietkowski. Yep. Then you wonder about that Missouri-Colorado game. Oh. It's the second straight Houdini act that Missouri has pulled. Sometimes you wonder if I know it. those big eight referees are getting a check from Columbia now and then. I don't know. Poor Joe Harrington. I felt sorry for him. Yeah, that was an absurd call down the stretch. He was not a happy camper. Tim Hupka sinks uh, the first free throw. The second is on the way, and it's going to dribble out. Humphreys battles for the board. He'll hit the deck, and we've got another whistle. Looks like Humphreys is going to go to the line. And that play was created by pure hustle. Pure hustle on his part. You know, here's a guy that probably ends up playing Novotny every day in practice. Sure. Getting him ready for the games. And... It just got to rub off on him. Well, I tell you, playing against Novotny every day in practice would be like going to the buffet line and having to drink Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, the numbers are 1.7 average-wise on the year. He's a senior, and he's into the scoring column. And it's got to be good for Novotny because Humphreys is not a small kid. No, he'll and, you know, get the guy to lay on him every day in practice. Second one is in and out with 50 seconds left. Elgin on the push. This is Sullivan. He'll spot up for the three. It's way short. And the rebound comes down to Brian Adams, a newcomer into the Odell lineup, and an immediate foul. Well, when you pick up your morning paper tomorrow morning, the final oh, score will in no way indicate how close this game really was. Elgin hung around, actually had an opportunity to get within three or four yeah. points had they made their free throws and turned this into a down-the-stretch nail-biter. The way it's going to read tomorrow morning is a anywhere between a 10 to 20 point spread here, depending on how many free throws Odell hits, mm -hmm. and that's not the type of game it was at all. No, they, I think they had the lead chip down to six. They, they had cut into it that much, but Odell found a way. And Brian Adams gets a, his first point of the day, and the second free throw is good. 40 seconds left, 62-47. This is Schmidt with the shot, no good. And the rebound comes down to Humphreys. And still yet another whistle. You can see the Odell crowd across the way. You can sense the enthusiasm that the Tiger, that the uh, Odell faithful have. 
You know, Sterling in the last game, they, they, they were a rowdy group, but they expected that championship. This group hasn't had a, a championship since 1965, a Class Whoa. G title in that year. They won a Class A title in 1921. A three-year enrollment at Odell of 39, and you can sense a real excitement and electricity in the air yeah. as they're on the verge of bringing home a state championship. You know, and these are folks that have ended up watching Ball City Sacred Heart win so many times. They Both communities pretty close together there in southeast Nebraska. And now the bench is clear and a class act from both coaches to get some of these other players into this contest. And let's not forget how difficult it is for a team to repeat Elton oh. making it back to the championship game. Oh. They fall short this year, but yeah. Yeah. nothing to hang your heads about. A very, very satisfying season yeah. for the well, Eagles. Usually, if you can put a bunch together and get one, you've got to feel happy about that. If you get two, well, that's kind of gravy on top of your potatoes. It's very, very difficult. 30 seconds left in this D2 game, 64-47, Odell out on top. There's a shot up by Nathan Dickerson, it's no good. Follow up, no good. Now Odell with the basketball. Coming out of there is Dustin Holst. Holst across the timeline, over to Zimmerman. Back across the way to Adams, the shot up, no, and a whistle. Ray Avedano with the foul, looks like here. So with 10 seconds to go, he will get an opportunity to get his name in the scoring column. Brian Adams, six foot senior. Hits it. He's got three free throws on the day for three points. Second is on the way. Good. 65-47 with seven seconds left. See if Elgin can get one more up. Nathan Dickerson, no. And that's it. And Odell, the Tigers win D2, 66-47. This celebration markedly different than the one we saw in the C2 contest. Both, of course, very satisfying, but you watch the Odell crowd here. They thought they could get this far. They thought they could get to this point. They played a very difficult schedule, and I think that seasoned them for the state tournament. Yep. And they're finally here, their first state title since 1965. Oh, and they've got to love it because, you know, they didn't come in here with the best record, but they were kind of a sleeper. Nobody really talked about it. Yeah, it's easy to overlook the fact who they lost to. You see the 15 and four and think, well, they won 75% of their games. But as it turns out, they they beat everybody that was in their class and they beat some folks that were not in their class as well. We're gonna turn it away to a timeout right now. 66-47, the final numbers. Back with the awards ceremony in a minute.